So what we're finding now, let me, let me explain this. We, we got one, well she didn't tell me her other knee was hurting her, but we got a, we got a sartorius muscle and it's locking when we use um, a pituitary gland product. That's what's interesting. So what did the pituitary gland have to do with this muscle? I'm not exactly sure. But sometimes when you start looking through the body and find other weaknesses, like we found her thymus gland, we may find immune system and now adrenal kidney function. You may start putting a link of what's going on with this person. But, but just adding this one product, just a pituitary product, we got locked muscle. Meaning when she goes to exercise next time, that muscle is going to lock on her really well. So let's go on to her other knee since now she's, she's uh, making a, a slight complaint that she has pain. <laughs> Okay, where is this one hurting at? Well, I mean, they were both kind of hurting here, but right now this one hurt because it felt like it was pushed the kneecap down that way. Okay, well, let's check the other sartorius. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. All right. All right. Wait, wait, now you're going to... Now we're pushing on the knee. Just yeah. hold, hold it inside. Yeah, this strong. <laughs> okay, don't push into the floor. Just resist. Okay, what happened is she's got it on both sides. Okay, what's going on? So she's got stress muscles. showing up on both sides. And I'm going to use the same product since it worked over here. It'll probably work here as well. Hold the strong. There it goes. Locks. Now, do I need to even add to the product? I don't. But knowing that it is a ligament product, we may want to add it since these are both joints. I notice both sides lock with this. Let this come down. And as we take them away, you can put the foot in and then we can unlock this knee again if we want to. Okay, let's go. Okay. Let's go. All right. <laughs> so this is a trick I want to show you as a, as a practitioner, what I use on a daily basis. This takes a little more time than a, a regular office visit. When you're working with a client, they keep having a muscle that keeps going weak or to say, hey, my knee's been hurting me for weeks. As a chiropractor, you adjust the spine and these things still come out of place. Well, now it needs chemistry, it needs food. And the food that this needs is a food that feeds the pituitary gland. Now I could read it, read out the formula and test to it, but I can already tell you, uh, calcium lactate is also part of that formula, but it has a, a, a protomorphogen. And protomorphogen is a, is a protein extract. So what, she, what she's needing is supplementing for this here. So make sure we can see this on film. This muscle here is pituitary gland muscle, and look what's happening. Okay, supraspinatus muscle right away goes to pituitary. Now, if she touches the reflex for pituitary gland, notice what happens, it locks. So it tells me that underlying other stuff going on, she's not sleeping very deep. She's not having deep sleep because her pituitary gland is not functioning like it should. So, give her a little food for her body, guess what happens? Okay. Take it away and easy, it goes back weak again. That's probably both sides. We'll test it out. Okay, as you see, both sides. Now, the funny thing about this is these muscles that do this here have brothers, have Lovett brothers. And I don't want to get into all this today, but one side of the body has to do with another side of the body. And this side of the body has to do with this. I'm going to go ahead and show it to you since we're talking about it. Can you let that arm down for me, Rosie? Hold this up, turn it in, hold it strong. And these muscles are the brothers. Okay, now hold that arm back up for me. She locks the elbow. And as we come down here, I'll just hold it out, turn toes in, it locks. There's the brothers. Okay. All right, so supraspinatus, tensor fascia lata. Okay. So you can go on and on with this stuff, but simply as a kit, you scan your kit and find out what products make her strong. Don't worry about testing the muscle. I could take her leg up here and do this, but look how big that muscle is. So I'll go back to my simple muscle testing, testing an arm and going top layer, bottom layer, and scan the rows to the products that show up strong. And then I test those products and challenge them against her body. When you find the strong one, test the dosage, set it on the body, retest the muscle. And as you see, what happened? She's back on. Better? Not yet. Not quite, but... Not sure, but she also hasn't been sleeping very good, right? All right, so, so she's also telling me, but by her, let's say she couldn't speak. Let's, she's a child, let's say she's your pet. You know, maybe this is a dog or cat you're working on. I do work on those. 
is they couldn't tell you what's wrong, but you could find out through the muscle testing what's going on with us. Okay, I'd like to thank everybody for coming tonight. I'm Dr. Patrick Price, Houston, Texas, the Body Detective. This is Advanced Nutrition Testing. Thank you for coming, guys.